Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. Today we're back again with another ZX Spectrum homebrew game review. And today we're going to take a look at this game here, Robot One in the Ship of Doom. And the reason why I want to show this game off is because just recently I've also picked up the sequel, Robot One and Planet of Death. So obviously if I'm going to review them, I'll review them in the right order. So let's leave this one for now, we will come back to that at a later date. Now this game here is a simple platform style game where you've got to escape the ship. So, without further ado, let's get on with some Ship of Doom. Right, so here we are, Robot One in the Ship of Doom. So, I do like the explanation there where basically you've been left behind, you've got to collect the keys, you've got to escape the ship before your time runs out. But that bit at the bottom there, run out of battery, you die. Run out of time, you die. Don't die. <laughs> this is pretty much for most games, isn't it, really? Don't die. Great way to win. So, yeah, we're going to stick two for the uh, Kempston, and then we'll just get started. You are Robot One. There's this little guy here. You can not You can jump. You can't shoot. You can go up ladders, but you can't go down ladders. And the whole idea is you've got to avoid everyone and get the keys to get to the end. These are sockets here with the electric on. Are very important. You can see there that uh, your power is disappearing. Every time you play this game through, the items, um, you can see four of them there that you need, are in different places every time. So it's a bit of an exp exploration, get my words out, every time you play this game, because you just don't know where they're going to be. And so, none so far. <laughs> not doing well, they're not down the ladders. It is some good music, though. Let's check this room. Nope. Well, there's got to be some somewhere. There's one. That big item there in the corner, that is one of the keys. So now we've got to go find the rest of them. As you can see there, you have a time limit on the uh, on the left-hand side. And I must admit, sometimes I have run the clock down because I must have like missed a room or something like that, or you go round and round in circles. To be honest, this is... Oh, no, that's, that's me dying. What did it say? Don't die. Don't die. And still none. Oh, God, where are they? I've normally found one or two of them by now. No, not that way. I'm dead. And charge my batteries. Good variety of enemies. Different patterns as well, you've got to keep an eye on. Classic Spectrum style game, I'd say this is. Uh, you know what I mean, where it's like enemies have a pattern, they don't chase you. You've just got to memorize their pattern. Oh, God's sake, where are they? Go, go, go. Oh, there's one. So that's it. How, how have I only got two, though? Oh, jump off there. I'll show you this room, actually, because chances are now, oh, chances are I'm just going to die. <laughs> uh, but I won't at least show you that. Oh, he touched me. <laughs> right, I was going to show you where you got to get to to teleport off the ship. Uh, I love that, though. Either you didn't get off the ship or in time or you died. You ran out of energy. Either way, you're dead. So let's have a proper playthrough of this now and see if we can actually do a good run on this game and do a full run to get off the ship. Right then, let's see if we can escape the Ship of Doom. Oh, good. Straight off the bat, we got one here. Good, good, good. Last time I played it, they were nowhere to be seen saying that I think I'm gonna go this way and just check up here I normally do and I forgot to do it this time get up there we are and there was nothing in there <laughs> pointless doing that then guaranteed though if I didn't check it that's exactly where it would be not in this room I'm gonna keep going not up there no, nope, make sure we keep that energy up. Oh, we got one here. 
We'll have to go back, though. Oh, that'll do. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> so we're two down. Nothing there. Nothing there. Keep an eye on the power. There we are. Right, get some power. I'm sure there's another way down here. Hey, there he is. There's one. So we've got two down. So no, not that way. I realise when I'm playing these games and talking, I feel like I'm just talking to myself, which, to be honest, I am. But, uh, you know, cheers me on. I also tell myself off when I get it completely wrong. Hopefully, this is in a nice place, this last one. Oh, balls. Three lives left, two and a half minutes. Gotcha. Yes. Right, thank God. Sometimes it appears there behind those barrels. And that screw there is an absolute nightmare. I will probably put a clip in here of me dying multiple times on there. Oh, that's close. Oh, stay, stay. Yes. Oh, this is great as well. Hang on, hang on. Let's not rush this. Let's not rush this. Jump. Oh, no. I can't jump over. I'll have to go over the top. We got this. We got this. And don't die here. Last obstacle. And we escape the ship. Oh, yes, that is Ship of Doom. Uh, not a very long game. Love the music. Uh, love the style of the game and everything else. But what this does is it introduces you to Robot 1. And now you've just escaped from the ship. And then coming along is the much bigger game, Robot 1, Planet of Death. Now this game we will be reviewing very soon. Because these games are great as a practice. I don't know if there's any more than the these two. If there is, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy playing these. It's a really charming character, that robot. Uh, and it's someone you start like feeling for. You want him to escape. You want him to win. Um, and you want to come back and play these games. So yes, join me next time when we play Planet of Death. And I hope you enjoyed Ship of Doom. I will leave in some outtakes at the end here of the amount of times that I died trying to get that one run. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and I will see you all again next time. Bye. Oh, no. Why did I do that? I could wait. How many lives have I got? Three lives. Two and a half minutes. Let's not rush this. What the hell? How am I supposed to get that? Oh, this is going to be the worst key ever. Come on, that's ridiculous. It's my last key, just let me have the key. I genuinely can't go up there any quicker.